I'm Allison and welcome to this core workout. Today we are going to be utilizing a couple of sliders. If you don't have sliders, things that might slide on your carpet are going to be paper plates, pieces of cardboard, aluminum foil. If you have hardwood floors, paper towels, hand towels, socks, those kinds of things will slide around. So feel free to grab something that you think might work. I have folded my mat in half to make sure I have enough space for my legs to move and slide properly um, as they will not slide on that mat. So in order to get started, let's lay down on our back. We are going to be going through 20 elbows to knee crunches with butterfly legs. So we're gonna pull our abs in, crunch forward, open those knees, close those knees, bring it back down. So legs are glued together when they're down. We've got 20 of these. This is all level, so feel free to do less if you feel like this is too much. Here we go. Open, close, bring it back down, that's one. Your goal is to get your shoulder blades up off the ground, two. While pressing your abs down, three. Four, five, six, seven. Each time I go to lift up, I pull my belly button in and up. beautiful. All right, I'm going to give two variations of the next exercise. One that if you feel like you need a little bit more of a beginner's modification, then you're going to keep your legs on the ground, bring your hands together. You're going to crunch forward, reaching to the outside of one knee and then to the outside of the other knee. If you feel like you are a little bit more advanced, knees and tabletop, you are going to do that same crunch forward, but as you crunch, you are going to bring your shoulders off the ground and extend those legs, and then we'll go to the other side. We have 15 per side. You take whichever variation makes the most sense for you. I'm gonna go with that more advanced version in three, two, one, let's go. That's one. I'm gonna count once we've done both sides and we have 15 per side too. Three. Four. Five. Good job, pulling those abs in and up. Six. Seven. Eight, you're at your halfway point. Now, even if you're not doing nine, the leg extension, it should still be nice and controlled, about the same pace. 10, we have five more per side. That's 13, just two more per side. Last one here. Last one on the other side. 
Exhale, beautiful. Pull those knees in. Circle around your back for just a moment. Circle around the knees, I should say. Good, all right. So, you just finished that leg extension with rotation. We are now going in to a variation of a hamstring curl. So, you're gonna put your sliders under both feet. And what we're gonna do is we're going to start with our legs long. We're going to keep in our glutes on the ground, just pull in, using our hamstrings. Once we get here, bridge up, slow and controlled re-release. Lower all the way down and repeat. We have 20 of those. So 20 hamstring curls. Here we go. Pull in, glutes are on the ground, press up, extend out. Good, and down. If this just feels so incredibly easy for you, then go ahead and do your curl in with your glutes off the ground. So you're gonna go all the way to straight legs and then curl in. So it will look like this, curl in, good. And then right back out, that's four. We're on our way to 20. You can always try the harder variation. Do a few of those and work your way up to all 20 that way. You may find that even doing it this way feels challenging, especially if you do it nice and controlled. With that six. Make sure you're coming all the way. Eight. Now, if this still feels too intense for you, then maybe you need to pull one leg in at a time, or maybe you need to release one leg at a time. All right? So you always have ways to make the exercise work for you. Also great to work unilaterally, or one leg at a time, we're at 10. in order to find discrepancies, right? And balances. Good, 12. Make sure you're using your abs, squeezing your glutes, so it's not all in your low back. This is intentionally slow and controlled. This is not meant to be fast. Good, 19, last one. All the way out and down, 20, good job. All right, we're gonna flip on over. We just need one. So I will start with the um, slider underneath my right leg. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be in a straight arm plank. I'm gonna come out to the side and then lift. So side, lift, all right? I have 15 per side. Now, maybe holding a straight arm plank is challenging for you because of wrist issues. Drop down onto your forearms. Or if it's challenging for you because you're just not in a place where you have enough strength to hold yourself up, do it on an elevated surface, all right? So go up on your couch, on your counter, your table. Any sort of elevated surface is gonna make it easier. You can go all the way to the wall if you need to, all right? So here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. Out to the side and lift. I'm not going into my low back with that lift. I'm just squeezing my glutes. Five more. Eleven. 
15, beautiful. If you need it, take a quick child's pose. Give a little release to that low back. Maybe shift side to side. Roll those wrists if you need it. And let's switch to the other side. Here we go. In three, two, one. Left out to the side. Right lifts. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Just five more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15. Down to those knees, child's pose, or shake out those wrists, whatever you need. So, we're staying with the single leg option, and we're gonna be holding a single leg bridge and drawing circles with our other leg. So, go ahead and lay down on your back. You're going to press your right heel into the ground, the slider is under the left, pressing yourself up into a bridge. From here, we focus all the weight into the right heel as we extend and draw a circle with our left leg. We have 15 in one direction, 15 in the other, before we get to switch legs. So here we go. Extend all the way out and around, one, two, Three, keeping those glutes up. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five more. We switch directions. Two more. One more. Good, don't lower your bridge. Just head around the other direction. One, two. You should feel an isometric contraction. Three, four, in your glutes on the right side. Five, and your low back. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, good, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, last one, and fifteen, good, lower down, and we'll switch to the other side. So now we're going to hold that single leg bridge on the uh, left side, and we're going to draw circles on the right. So, single leg bridge with circles in three, two, one. Let's go up and draw those circles. Doesn't matter which direction you start with, because we're gonna do both. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Stay up on that bridge. You might even need to lift that bridge a little bit higher, other direction. One. You're gonna have one direction, four. That's not as easy as the other one. Five, we're not as smooth. Six, seven, eight, 
seven, eight. Keep that bridge up, press through the left, nine. 10, good. 11, four more. 12, 13, 14, and 15. Lowering down, beautiful. All right, pull both knees in, draw a couple little circles. Allowing some of that tension that built up from the isometric contraction in your low back. To release. Beautiful. And then we're going to flip it over. On our second to last moves, we're going to put both toes on the sliders and we're going to drop to our elbows for a forearm plank. From here, we're going to extend both legs, drive one knee in, drive the other out, out. Then we leave with the other side. In, in, out, out. That's one. We have 15. Let's go. So we're here in a forearm plank with single knee drives to chest. If it's too challenging to do on the floor, do it on an elevated surface. That's four. Five. Seven. Eight. Halfway there. Nine. Ten. Come on. Finish strong. 11, 12, 13, 14, last one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Good. Five more. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Beautiful. Take it down to your knees. Roll out those wrists for a moment. Awesome job. Thank you so much for joining me for this 20 minutes of core work using sliders. It's been my honor and my pleasure. I'm a little out of breath. Hopefully you are too, to be here with you, to get a little bit stronger each and every day. I hope you challenged yourself. I hope you also found ways to modify if you needed it. I look forward to seeing you guys again very soon.